Hi, this is Serv Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel. I didn't expect to be making a video this morning, but I went into my inbox and there was an advertisement for Monoprice about their new MP10 3D printer. I took a look at the specs, it looked very, very interesting. Did a little bit of research, looked even more interesting. So I ordered a $400 printer this morning and stay tuned and we're going to learn about it together. As soon as I saw the user's manual for the Monoprice MP10 3D printer, it became obvious to me that it was another printer being distributed, perhaps customized by Monoprice, that was being manufactured by Maoyan, M-A-L-Y-A-N. The Monoprice uh, Select Mini version one, version two, uh, the Pro version are all manufactured by Malian, um, and they have a really good build quality for their price points. Uh, they tend to be um, all metal, lots of metal parts, and when you go onto the Malian website, they highlight their metal machining capabilities as part of their core capabilities. So what I'd like to do this morning, this is a bit of a teaser, is we're going to very quickly go through the specs of this printer, and then in about a week, I'll receive the printer, I'll review it. A couple days later, there'll be a full review for the Monoprice MP10 printer. First, the specs on the Maoyan website and the specs on the Monoprice site are almost identical, but not quite. I believe that Monoprice is being a bit more conservative with language. Uh, they're a US-based company, perhaps they have more concerns there. Um, but overall, they're the same. They do highlight different things, and I'll point those out to you. The print size on this printer is 300 by 300 by 400. That is a large print bed. Um, it's a CR10 type of print bed. You should be able to print very large items. A uh, layer thickness is 0.1 to 0.4 millimeters. The standard nozzle it comes with is 0.4, but this is almost a quick change nozzle setup on this printer. Uh, I'll show you some pictures. Maximum nozzle temperature is 255 centigrade. Uh, heated bed temperature is 110 centigrade. Uh, so you can print a large range of products with this. Now this is not an enclosed uh, printer, therefore ABS Perhaps nylon are not in the ballpark, uh, but uh, you, you could try them. Um, I print a lot of PLA and PETG. Both should be no problem at all on this printer. Um, it is an open source style printer, uh, so it uses standard G code. Okay, now let's look at some of the things that are more interesting. Um, the first is that on the Monoprice site, they highlight that there is a removable extruder, uh, easily accessible magnetic extruder, and you're seeing a picture of this here. Well, um, this is a Bowden setup, uh, the way it's configured, at least it looks like on the Monoprice site, um, and therefore the extruder would not be attached to the hot end, yet in the picture they're removing the, the extruder and the hot end, which would make it seem like a direct drive extruder. Um, they do highlight that there will be different extruder styles. On the, on the Maoyan website, they list that it can be configured as Bowden or non-Bowden. So that will be very interesting to see uh, when the printer comes in. Um, also within that modular extruder um, hot end configuration, they highlight, and you'll see a picture here, that there are two screws to remove the hot end. Um, therefore, you can remove the hot end with the nozzle all in one unit, plug in a different one if you need a different nozzle size as an example. It does have a heated print bed, very nice. It appears to have a spring steel, a flexible, removable print bed, uh, very much like the Prusa MK3. Um, I think that's a wonderful innovation in printers. They call it assisted bed leveling versus auto bed leveling. Um, but it appears to be uh, very much a mesh style bed leveling setup. 
um, and you do have live Z adjustment control. Uh, what you mean, what that means, if you're not familiar with that, is while the print is printing, you can actually uh, make minor adjustments uh, to the height of the nozzle from the print or from the print bed. Um, they highlight that it is a uh, dual Y gantry. Uh, they're dual rails for the Y bed because the bed is a Y style bed that moves back and forth. And it ships with an all metal hot end. Um, so overall, this is a very impressive set of specs for a printer. Uh, we'll know in a little more than a week um, how this actually prints. Um, and I look forward to sharing that with you. If you want to make sure that you hear about this review when it comes in, please subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, uh, share this video with everyone else who might be interested in this printer, and in a little more than a week, we'll have some more information for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's continue to learn things together.